So hello everyone, welcome to the 3D School online episodes in another series about how you can make a water break using mass FX in 3D Max without additional plugin and script. So jump to it and let's zoom it a bit to see how our final result does like with water breaks and concrete forms around in the water and let me introduce you a project we've been working for a competition on a client and these are several cameras we need to visualize and first render it and with the past production after so this is the front side we need to cover with our concrete tools and in general the purpose of water breaks is just to reduce the waves passing through and crashing against the wall in our case to the waterfront of our bay and the shape of the ground passing through and going inside the sea so you see on the technical drawings the dimension and the size of water breaks and how does it looks in the section and now once when we have the right image of what we need to produce and let's go and discover how we can find if we have uh, can find some uh, 3d models of concrete tetrapods and i'll go through some couple of examples to see how does it looks and how the water breaks is connecting the water in the bay itself so this is the shapes of our concrete tetrapod already imported in 3d max i have it actually downloaded from 3d warehouse and now i need to prepare the shape of the place we need to uh, spread inside so for that I'm going to use a simple spline which I'll do an uh, offset on a side and use the edge border extruded upwards just to bring simple form of what I would like to produce and to have something similar to the tube which I'll cover it inside with my concrete tetrapod so I'm going further just to design a bit more the borders of my tube and this is how it will looks so I need just to shift it a bit and to fix it in the right position just near to the border which is connected directly to the sea waves and once when I'm done I'll go further with making a couple of copies of my concrete object in my case the tetrapod which is the common used geometrical form for um, having a water breaks and so on let's go further and make a couple of copies how i said on the side which we will use further by our mass f higgs tool in the 3d max just to simulate how we can spray it inside the tube using the gravity and I'll show all the steps you need to do the same 
why we are doing this because we want to have the most realistic shapes in what we are creating in our scene and by simulating gravity which is uh, which Max is very powerful in it we will have all these elements pretty close to the reality and so on once we get ready with all the copies of the concrete tetrapods you're going for to make a couple more copies in a high and now is the time when we can go to the massive hicks modificator if you don't have a new toolbar just press right button uh, and find you can find it and by pressing tick you will see it will appear immediately in the window so the second icon you need to choose for uh, getting some action of your geometry in my case I've selected everything except the tube as you see and that will react immediately to all the concrete tetraproteins will create in all of them single more modificator above massive higgs rigid body which means that we have selected all the objects we will play with and by pressing play it will take some time for reaction but as you see this is the result all they are gonna fall down and some of them will go out of the tube but actually we will need only these which will appear inside the tube so as you see mm, we need to do some more additional things except just by um, choosing the massive Higgs modificator you need to go to physical material and by selecting the mesh object you also need to specify the material what it will be because without doing this all the geometry will fall down and will start jumping around and now once we've selected for example I have picked a steel and you see our geometry start to behave like a steel object but in our case we have something which we fixed already and it is a concrete tetrapod so we need to pick the concrete as a material of our object and again by going to mass toolbar this is the menu and you see now I'm gonna choose the bake all options which will create single frames for each object and that will allow us after by deleting the frames to have the final result of falling down objects and the baking options actually uh, will allow us to have everything animated for further animation if you need this if not we can just um, select all the frames and press delete so we will have all the objects down already without going backwards in the starting position and this is the power of um, the baking option from the mass fx toolbar so again you need to do a couple of major things for having nice accurate function in your uh, object first by choosing the mass fx tool it's 
you know, it's actually pretty easy if you follow uh, the simple steps I'm showing right now. That's why I'm uh, repeating a couple of the actions I'm using. Now I'm gonna delete the rest which I actually don't need and make a copy of what I have already in the tube and I'll repeat the same actions again and again until I have all the space covered with the concrete tetrapods inside the tube which will play the role of my water breaks what I would like to have in my scene so again by choosing the tube and the concave or the original option will take a bit more time you can repeat the same action what we've done on the first stage of covering inside the tube by picking the mass F hex two bar you can just play with the button play action and everything will fall down but you need also to figure the options with the materials of the object in our case we need to pick on the concrete so our object will be here like a real concrete which means it's really heavy and it's not jumping all around but it's falling exact in the tube what we need actually and again you can repeat until you will have what you need inside how I'm showing right now and you see there is some um, tiny white space around our objects which means it's already applied some modificate in our case massive Higgs tool which we use until now and if you want to figure it with the further animation you just need to bake all the objects by pressing bake all and that's gonna create a falling down objects with animating frames and once when you're satisfied with the result you can you can just delete the frames and you have all the objects in the right position what you try to achieve so thanks for watching and you see the final results pretty nice realistic water breaks in our scene stay updated keep watching and grow with us if you have any question you can drop us a line anytime like our videos you can share it and thanks for your feedback